Uh, hello everybody, my name is Professor Sobono Isaacuari and today uh, we're going to be looking- Oh my god! The title is being sucked into a black hole! What do we do about this? Um, ignore that universal thought. Um, today we're going to be looking, uh, uh we're going to be venturing uh, over on our quest for the relativistic definition of kinetic energy. And we're about halfway, I think, to this quest. And this is very exciting. So anyways, I believe uh, where we left off look like this. Ti to Tf VdP is equal to, um, I think, PVF minus VI, PVI uh, minus uh, VIVF and then we had PDV. So now, what I want to do for this uh, for this episode, this portion, is I want to focus solely on the right side, which might be the left side for you guys or something. I'm not really sure. So, anyways, that gives us PVF minus PVI a, a minus. V I V F P D V. Now you should know the relativistic definition of, uh, I think, momentum right now. It's gamma m v, and then we have d v. So remember, we can't multiply these because d v is basically change in v. So, anyways. This can also change to y m. Uh, by the way, um, these actually don't need to uh, do the thing. We can actually change these right into. We can actually square these. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a minus sign or a plus sign. Uh, anyways, I think this is what we're going to end up with, but. But how we are also um to substitute the monstrosity that is going to be gamma in its fully expanded form. I want to make a variable named u. No, not average velocity like we saw in that other relativity video. But anyways, um it's actually just going to be a variable, a substitute for one root one minus v squared over c squared. No, one minus v squared over c squared. That's going to be what u is. Now, with that substitute, we uh, we you might as well find du. Uh, for all we know, it also will contain dv in some sort. Well, what's the derivative of 1? 0. You should know that by now. What's the derivative of v squared? Well, let's take the derivative of your uh, newbie to calculus. Now, taking the derivative using limits would take absolutely forever. So, let's do it. So, yeah, taking it by limit would require... Oh. Uh, this equation over h. So, um, oh yeah, did I forget? H approaches zero f prime of x. This is going to take absolutely forever. Now, h is some constant that differs point uh, a on the x-axis and from point b on the x-axis. So that's what, that's what I wanted to say. And these f-offs are, sim are really simple. They're just things to represent y. And uh, the variables inside are just used to represent the input of the function. So, let's see what this gives us. Well, we want to replace every x we know with an x squared. So, uh, no, we want to replace every f of x we know with an x squared. 
So f of x plus a actually has to be squared due to our uh, thing being squared, velocity here being squared, which will change v2 and then minus uh, v squared over h. That gives us, uh, if we uh, put the expanded tri uh, trinomial form here, v squared plus 2v8 plus h squared minus v squared over h. Now, we can obviously cancel the uh, everything here out, which leaves us with a prime of x uh, equal limit h goes to zero, uh, 2v plus h. Now, h has to approach zero, so that means that we get 2u, no, 2v. Leave it or not, I know a thing or two about calculus. So, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, I'm getting tangled in my, uh, this is a situation. Okay, phew. So, now that we know that a valuable piece of information, we can leave this here. And C is a constant, so we can just uh, take it out. So now we multiply this by this, giving us du equals to, oh yeah, we took this with respect to v. So negative 2v dv to over c squared. Now let's solve for dv so we can plug it in the equation next lecture. Mm. Now um, that's going to be equal to, and by the way, the reason I didn't take the derivative of c squared as a constant is because, yeah, dividing my zero will not have some good outputs. Uh, including it if you input it in Siri, in which Siri will say you have no friends. Which is sad. Now, um, if we rearrange this so the uh, dv is on the left side and only dv, uh, we get this. We divide both sides by two, negative 2v two over c squared, which gives us duc squared, or c squared over minus 2v times du. So now, and this will help us later when we plug it in into this guy. Now, um, we're not gonna do it today because it's a monstrosity, and one of our students recommended so, courtesy of Albert. So, so we end the lecture here or so we keep going? Did I end the lecture? Yeah. Okay.